Hey, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you seven mistakes that you are doing in Rainbow Six Siege, no matter if you're a beginner or an already experienced player. Those are some mistakes you will need to fix to rank up. I'm gonna show you exactly how to. Starting off with point number one is you make too much sound. Imagine you're in a one versus one situation and you're running around like this. You have already lost that. Instead, try to make less noise. Use your old key to slow walk. Also, try not to make unnecessary sounds like this one here. Like, turning makes quite a bit of noise. If you listen to it. This is something that actually costs you rounds, so stop doing this. Coming on to point number two, which is you're not covering your rappel ins with shooting sounds. Instead of just repelling in, which makes a ton of noise, do this. Once you press your enter button, just start shooting like this. Because this is cover a lot of the sound that you make while repelling in, and you will notice that people are less likely to swing you while you're repelling in. You can of course also use explosion sounds like nades, flourish drones, or ash judges, because those sounds are very loud and they will cover you compared to a rappel in sound, or even cover your steps. On to point number three, which is you're holding angles wrong. Look at this. If you're holding the angle like this, yes, you see him, but I'm gonna show you what he sees now. He sees your shoulder, your upper body, and your head. It is not this bad, but I'm gonna show you something that will make this angle even harder for him to contest. Now look at this. It's the same position as you see right here, and you can barely see his arm and his leg. You can't even see his head. You need to go even further to the left. I'm gonna show you exactly what he sees now. He still sees the same exact thing, so start holding your angles from a further away angle rather than standing close to an object because it's gonna expose you more and you will realize that this gives you a lot of free kills. And on to point number four, which is playing with or off your teammates. One easy thing you can always do is play for reflect on your teammates. You can always do this and if you're solo queue and your teammates are not really playing that well off you, you can always just play from the opposite direction and push the enemies towards your teammates or catch off the players that your teammates are pushing away. But what you can also do is this here. If you see your team struggling to take the piano set on cafe, because there's a mute jammer on the red wall, you can simply go in the south window, shoot a little hole into the barricade and shoot the mute jammer off the wall. It is so simple, yet you see a lot of players not doing it because they are not thinking about what they can do to actually help your team from the other side. Well, not really relying on your teammates. You might have the worst teammates in the history of Rainbow Six Siege, so stop rushing alone in the first 20 seconds and play with your team. The next thing upon my list is you are not contesting entries. You're just letting the enemies walk all over the net without even putting pressure onto them. I'm gonna show you a simple way on coastline to prevent them from walking into sunrise. If we hop into the game and just pick Asami, we take one key barrier just right above the door and you can shoot and aim at their feet from the sunrise bar without being exposed to the door or the window. And if you feel like you can't rotate up anymore, just use one key barrier on this door frame to secure your swing or use one to just cover off the door. By this, I mean, don't suicide yourself in a room where you don't need to die. For example, just go on a small room, even with an onset operator like Echo or Smoke, shoot a cam or two and fall back to a side. You have taken away so much intel of them that they need to redraw all of the injectors that you have actually fallen off. The next point is your situational awareness. Your teammate next to you might be fighting for his life and you are literally 5 meters next to him holding a door for him because you're tunnel vision. Most of your solo queue teammates want intel but most of the time they have no situational awareness themselves because if they had they would have known where the enemies are based off your calls, sound cues, your teammates outlines or operator icons gunshots or default camps outside. One thing you also have to pay attention to is the kill fight in the top right. If you have man advantage, you should go back to side and play the safe by whole crossfires, whole cross angles with your teammates rather than continuing to push up to the enemies and die and lose your man advantage. Playing aggressive when you really don't have to, for example in man advantage situations. Especially in the current frag heavy meta that we have, everyone wants to peek, everyone wants to go ahead and pick Warden 1.5 and just swing into the enemies but this will lose you a lot of rounds if you don't stop at a certain point. Players are getting worse and worse in terms of when it comes to playing smart when they're playing against better enemies. Or one of the reasons why you're losing a lot of rounds is you're over peaking and man advantage. Most of the rounds in ranked I would consider trolling. Why? 
pretty simple because you're just running at the enemies with your weapon straight ahead looking dead into the enemy's eyes this will get you killed and i consider it major trolling i know everyone wants to go ahead and frag out and be on the top of the leaderboard but it won't work because team play is so important in a game like siege that this will cost you a lot of rounds if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe to my channel it would help me out massively also leave a comment on what i should cover next have a great day bye